Steve, here we have our new C4 chassis. And this was designed specifically for competition shooters. Um, we started out making this chassis from just one, one solid billet. And then uh, we add in basically as, as much features as we, as we could pack in here, really. So we'll start at the front. I'll kind of go over some of that stuff. Um, we took off the, uh, the rail off of the, off of the end, night vision cap here. That's okay. for the guys who want to grip this. You know, with the, with the right. up top. Okay, so they can grab that four in and not have to dig into the Picatinny rail. Exactly, yeah, and you can still add the rails and stuff too. Um, still up front here, we added our own, um, this is a, our own mounting system, which will be an open source mounting system. Uh, it basically combines an ARCA rail, which is pretty traditional now, pretty standard. Uh, some, uh, the slots of a Picatinny rail, the M-Lock slots, and then our own uh, mounting system that we have on the rest of the chassis are our threaded holes that we have on here. Okay, so we're looking at a prototype here. It's very flat on the bottom, so if you didn't have any kind of bipod on this, you could rest this on a bag. Almost, it's got a very wide forend, so very easy to get stable on a, a front rest. Yeah, that's really the idea there. And then looking in the um, in the barrel channel here, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, you can add a weight down in here, uh, so you can make this pretty heavy really and that's what the you know that's what the PRS shooters are, right. are really looking for and then we have a weight kit to, that'll mount on the sides here the side mounting system is really like a Picatinny rail uh, but without the cross slots cut all the way through so it's not tearing up your hand here um, moving back we have our, our radius bedding system in here and this was uh, designed to allow for uh, more actions than, than what our other chassis will, will accept. So actions with trigger hangers, um, larger triggers, stuff like that. So really, this will really accommodate a lot of the, a lot of the actions. Uh, it takes AICS pattern magazines, or um, this will take also an AW magazine, and that'll kind of bring us to some of the very some nice of the features of the of the um, of the magwell here. <clears throat> we have adjustable adjustability built in. Uh, fore and aft on the magwell and then we've got some leaf springs down in here to add tension to your magazine you take those out if you want to run an aw style magazine so it's pretty snug in there yeah there's not like any play if you if you desire you can leave those in to take out the play exactly and that's kind of a, a shooter preference we try to make this um, as customizable as as we could for the shooter the magazine catch you can adjust the height of it which you need to do when you're going from an aics to an aw mag so the uh, the grip that we have on here is is more of our competition oriented okay. grip. It's got the got the um, the wider thumb shelf up here with a little bit of meat. So okay. so the shooter will kind of grind on this. How you know uh, set it up how they want it basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the tr the um, trigger finger rest here something that can be added on if the guys want it. If not, you know you'd leave it off of there. Uh, moving back, we have the same adjustable cheek cheek height uh, position that's on like the Whiskey 3. And, and those look three. thumb adjustable, which I like. Yeah. Uh, so fully adjustable uh, comb height. It's got numeric values so you can adjust the length of pull. Um, and then it has a nice flat bottom here so you could ride that on a bag easily. Um, and it looks like you could probably mount a, a monopod down there. Is that correct? You can. So this has a built-in adjustable bag rider. Very you nice. could take all that off of there, and then you could probably see the threaded holes yep. in there. Hard, hard to see on the camera, but um, it's got the threaded holes, so you can do a, you know, rail, and then a. Uh, I really like that it comes with an adjustable bag rider. That's pretty impressive. And then it's got the QD mounts here at the rear as well. Can you adjust this? Uh, you can adjust it up and down. Can you adjust it for cants as well? Yes, and so the um, this one's a little different than our Whiskey Three chassis. Kind of similar lineage, but a little bit different adjustments. This one, you have a thumb screw here. You loosen that, and then you can actually adjust both things at the same time. Very nice. So it's just one, uh, one thumb screw here. You kind of see it there in the, in the camera, but just a one thumb screw, and you can adjust the cant and the height. And uh, this is made out of what aircraft grade aluminum? The chassis itself? It is, yeah. And then and some some stainless components in here. Uh, this piece is actually stainless, and um, you know this stuff here is is obviously stainless, but that's. We, we went to stainless to give it a little bit of weight in the rear. Yeah. The idea being is that, you know, um, the competition shooter is looking right. for, for the weight. And is this, what is, is this like a hard anodized finish? Or it is, yeah. Okay. Yep. 
So, uh, that, I mean, that's a really sweet looking chassis. It looks like it has all the adjustability uh, and modifications that can be done for every level of shooter out there, all the way up to, uh, you know, a precision shooter who's uh, regularly doing competition. Thank you for meeting with me. It's my pleasure. All right. Thank you and for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next uh, SHOT Show 2022 video.